Hey, happy 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July and we have some good news. Our website's back open. Our tablets are back up for sale. They are on sale, 10% off for one week. We have a new hoodie design. Money well wasted. You can substitute the Can-Am for a Razor or a KRX for all you Razor KRX folks. If you have something else, send me a message. We'll see what we can do for you. So this is our last crossbar video. It was amazing. Thanks to Matt for showing us around. We're going to get into the video. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. But happy 4th of July. Website's back open. We're ready to rock and roll. Um, tablets, online, shirts, hoodies, stickers. It's all back up and running. Everything's back in stock. So, thank you, and um, we'll get back into this video here. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We have a lot to come. Lots of updates, lots of awesome videos. We didn't even get to the good stuff yet. Welcome to the Can-Am Crew YouTube channel. In this epic adventure, we're hitting the road for 40 days and traveling for over 7,000 miles to ride some of the most amazing trail systems the U.S. has to offer. From Alabama to Utah to South Dakota and many, many more, we're going to be in over 20 states to ride some of the most scenic, wild trails that we can find. It's not all going to be about riding, though. We'll stop along the way at places like the Cadillac Ranch, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, the Devil's Tower, and Mount Rushmore. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime, and we're extremely excited to share it with you on our YouTube videos. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you out on the trail. today it's myself sherry and scott as always and then we have matt from the slew crew over here he's ridden here a bunch he offered to come here and uh show us around he's like six hours away from here so huge shout out to him go check out his youtube instagram tiktok all that he's always posting awesome videos and uh he's in the houston oklahoma area so if you're familiar with this area he's always riding everywhere around here and they travel everywhere so we're gonna get moving. It's roughly 8.30 in the morning. We're gonna head out on the trails. I wanna hit Hell's Gate today. I don't know if we'll do that first or a little bit later, but it should be a good video. He's gonna show us some good stuff. So we'll see you out on the trail. We're gonna get right into this video. All right, this is the first video of the day for us. Um, we're back at, uh, I guess it's called Screen Door, I guess. Um, Jesse's going to try to get some redemption on this. Um, so as soon as he's ready, we'll get it on. We'll get it on camera for you, guys. Oh, he's actually ready, guys.
You can come over this way some more if you want. Nice job, Jesse. Nice job. I went, I hugged that tree a little bit and just faced right a hair. Just the, that looks a lot better. As close to that as you that big lip over there as you can and then just send it this way a little bit. Not sure if Scott mentioned or not. We're on a little bit of uh quest for redemption on this line. <laughs> oh man. Come this way. A little bit. Yeah, Matt was saying to go that way just the time you went for. She's probably in my spot now. Go from there and get out of it. Nice job, Sherry. Nice job. That plastic on the right's taking a beating. All right, we're about to see a one shot. 35 inch Zillas, Turner axles, Halo 30, CA suspension. Kelly's cut, Jesse's up. Scott coming up here. Kylie's cut. stay there long enough it'll go <laughs> this rock is crazy slick it's insane <laughs> okay we have Matt coming up from slew crew he's gonna give us a go 35 inch Zillas Halo 30 Turner axles Make it easy. 
work of it. Copperhead Ledge is the next obstacle. We're just bouncing around from like cool spot to cool spot, but I'm gonna have Emma film this on the GoPro. Here, Emma. Hey, you're right it's good. It's already recording. take this on copperhead ledge it's pretty cool it's a little off camber climb here has a decent little ledge you got to kind of get come up and kind of maneuver and then another one right there dead man's a um, couple different lines here this is the line Jesse's looking to take right now looks interesting he's got his buggy running let's see what happens I worked my way back down after going up it was uh it's a good climb the rock seems like it has a lot of traction so i felt the front end move a little bit i steered out of it hit the gas and it kept going so scott's going to try a, a similar line is is what i took we'll see how it works out for him good
How's that feel? All good. You're all right. Don't move. I thought the sure was going over. It took a bad hop. <laughs> Not a good predicament. You almost pulled an Andrew. Andrew did it right here. Getting him hooked up. Pull his front end back down. Any words for the camera? Yeah, this is not a good position. <laughs> no. Yeah, once once we pull his front end down, he'll be able to help dig while you pull him up. Alright. I'll stay here and give a little uh, support. Tell me when to start it. Okay. You got a little ways to go before they tighten the strap up. Alright, hold it. I don't know if you're on the winch line or not. Now you're good. Thank you. Dead man slide. Good climb. Stand back up. Felt good. Just a little, yeah. Nice job. It happens. All right, we got Scott down. He's all good. Um, took a weird bounce, and uh, he got lucky it didn't roll. But we got Matt up now. 72 inch with 35s. Shock therapy springs on his CA Tech suspension. So. We'll see if there's any difference versus him going up through here with the shock therapy springs and the 35s. I'm not sure what he's running for tire pressure. Scott, do you know what he has for tire pressure? He said he was going to put it down to 6. Okay. I don't know if that's what he did. Alright, so we're thinking around 6, maybe a little bit more. But we'll see. We'll see how he goes up this climb. saved by the tree his his took that weird hop too scott he do you see his take that weird hop he definitely had more momentum than me yeah did i have that much momentum i don't feel like i went that i don't think so yeah he made it look fairly easy as well yeah yeah good job good job good job okay we were just climbing over here and going up around where that tree is sherry spied this line off here to the left it's kind of off camera really big ledges and then it's it's pretty rough at the top too good so we'll see she's got to move her seat up so we'll see we'll see how she does on this line looks like a pretty good one we'll see it's uh it's off camera this way and leans you towards this up there it's kind of open so but I feel like she can get it. Hey, she just climbed that tree. Sherry. Nice job. All right, Scott's gonna try this left line, same line Sherry did, just to be able to. <laughs> he's like, I gotta climb something here, so I'll get him coming up this little bit different angle here. You, 
There was a big rock you just moved. You just kicked a big rock out of the way. I think same line you'll be good. Nice job. a good spot man good job scott so we're sitting here at o schmidt um matt is up first uh he's got the buggy fired up give you a little preview here it looks pretty nasty and it's decently steep Nice job, Jesse. Okay. This is a little bit sketchy. It probably doesn't show how steep it is here, and the rock is slick. I knew I was going to hit it. Yeah. That's what Matthew did. Same, same thing it took me. I just carried momentum up through the center. That's that almost a one-shot sherry there. <laughs> Full throttle commitment. That's that's a good line. Good job. All right, Scott's working his way up here now. We'll see how he does. This this is a good one. This is probably one of the better ones that we've hit this weekend so far. Tires were digging. Nice shot. Man. That's awesome. I know that, that front end's holding up. I'm pretty excited about that. That's the new I'm trying to. This is this is how hot it is. Emma and Sherry are over here laying in the waterfall. 
I'm telling you, this is probably some of the hottest weather we've been in. It is uh, scorching like 90 something degrees and all sun. <laughs> the Scott matter over there talking about lines. This is Hell's Gate. This is what we've been talking about the entire weekend. I am ready to hit this obstacle. It's like what you hear most about when you hear about crossbar. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it, but I'm going to give her a whirl. All right, folks. Hell's Gate. Looks like a doozy. I'm thinking 64 inch might have an advantage at the top and the bottom. Um, 72s, I don't know if they'll fit in this section here. They might have to take on a bigger ledge. We'll see once uh, 64 and 72 gets up there. But this ledge right in here, there's like two, and you're gonna have to bump them at the same time, and it's really steep. And what you can't see off to this side is a drop off with nothing to stop you. So that's like a head game. Kind of have to go straight hock down over the bank. So I'll get in, I'll get harnessed up, get my helmet on, and I got Sherry up here. Scott will film down here, and we'll uh, see if we can get Hell's Gate checked off the list. All right, Jesse's hitting it. This is a good climb. Felt uh, felt somewhat planted. Right here in this spot is wanting to throw my front end left. I just turned right and stayed in it. And it, it pulled me back onto the trail and then up and over. This is uh this is definitely it's definitely a doozy. It's very ledgy. Um I think with a 64 we might have an advantage here too. We'll see how Scott makes it up and see what kind of line his tires have to go. But I think he's going to have to take on this ledge to where I don't think I did. All right, come up over the first spot. Easy. Just stay in it a little bit longer, you'll go over it. Just a little bit more momentum and you'll be up over it. Try to crawl it. Oh, you're good. I can back up? Yeah. You're good. You need to you need to bump it. You're hitting two ledges at once, so you just need momentum to get you over it. Hit 
tough one. You slid down into the, you're like down into the notch. Yep. Okay, Scott, the way you're pointed, just crawl it. Gonna get them winched up this spot. That's the line. It's tough for a wide machine. is coming up 72 wide he might even be a little bit wider with aftermarket wheels 35 zillas and we're gonna see how he makes out here Scott you want to film him from down there and I'll guide him a little bit yeah all right here comes Matt he's a 72 inch machine too so let's see if he can do something I didn't Nice job, Matt. All right, here comes Sherry's attempt. Ugh. You're okay to back up. You can come back a little bit if you want, Sherry, like six inches. You can come back a tiny bit more. Whoa, oh, never mind. Yeah, come back further now. What is up everyone? We are back at camp, finished for the day, had a blast. Thanks to Matt with Slew Crew and his buddy Greg for showing us around. We wouldn't have been able to hit half of the stuff we hit today without them. So shout out to them. If you haven't yet, go check out his YouTube, his Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. It's Slew Crew Off-Road. So huge shout out to them. What are your thoughts of Crossbar? Um, crossbar is the real deal. It's no joke, guys. Um, the obstacles here are as big as any obstacles I think we've ever done. I would agree. Uh, it's a great park. 
the rock is very slick. Yes. If it gets even a tiny bit wet, or your tires get a tiny bit wet, it's a whole new ball game here. <laughs> <laughs> um, o. Schmidt, we were on earlier, and that's the one where I noticed most of the rock. Like, the rock had, like, a, a glassy finish to it from people driving on it, and it was, like, smooth to the touch. So, definitely have to use more momentum here. The obstacles are amazing. The one thing I didn't like was the trails to get to the obstacles. It was like boulder fields after boulder field. It was very, very rocky. Aside from that, the place was awesome. Yes, absolutely awesome. I'm glad everyone out there that told us to come here. And Matt, thanks for, for recommending this place. I'm really happy we came here. Me too. Got the machines washed off, ready for the next time we will ride will be in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. So tomorrow we leave Crossbar. We're headed to Amarillo, just outside of Amarillo. We're going to be there for an overnight just to kind of break up the ride. And then from there we're going to New Mexico. We're going to do some some dune and rock stuff out there. I'm not really sure. Haven't really seen any videos. I think it's kind of like a, a local area that people ride. So we'll take you along for that journey. So it will be... A few days you'll be seeing another video before we close this off. Do you have anything that you want to add about here? Yeah, I like it. Coop. Um, what was your favorite part about it? The whole trip or this place? This place. The cactuses? Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, we lost Sherry in the background <laughs> for, uh, well, I don't know, probably three or four different times. And then I waited and she'd come up. Oh, I was getting a picture of a cactus. That's true. <laughs> I just wanted to see it's a to get to see cactus. No, this was the first time we've ever seen a wild cactus. A cactus in the wild. For weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see a cacti. Your front end. Your your axles, your diff, how you liking it? It couldn't be better. <laughs> it could not be yeah. better. That more of that. I know we've we've been teasing a lot of it and you can't really give out too much information before we're done testing. But we do want you to know that Scott is running something that, that hopefully we'll be able to take to market very soon. It's it's working for you. Yes. It's holding up to everything that we've put it through so far. Yes. It's holding up to the 35s. So. It's taking some shots. It is. I mean, you guys are seeing it. His, his, his tires are taking some hard hits and everything's holding where. I would have gone through probably easily six seven smart lock axles <laughs> easily yeah. yeah so we're we're not even halfway through our 40 day trip so there's still a lot to come we're i mean we're still in the testing phase we think it's bulletproof but we'll know we'll know soon enough we're headed out west sand hollow moab colorado south dakota Missouri so we, we still have all those places to go Kentucky we're going back to Kentucky so huge shout out to our patrons and channel members and sponsors up on the screen you guys are awesome we really appreciate everything that you're doing for us to help us come out here and do stuff like this thanks to you guys for watching the videos and subscribing and liking if you're not subscribed and you like this kind of stuff hit that button down in one of these corners it's appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything. Turn on the notification bell so you know when to be notified. And I think right now we're on a Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday schedule. So check out those days. You'll see something on our uh, channel here in a couple days. And we'll see you in New Mexico.